in the Zephyr project, what we are trying to do is to create that operating system for microcontrollers and have it be standard-based, completely open source, and supporting the multiple architecture, and to make it available for everyone. The technology itself has been around for a while. The ideas actually go back some 20 years. It's pretty mature. As an open source project, it is new and the, there's an open slate to come in and say, here's how we should design security. Here's how we should design application frameworks for this new generation of devices. As microcontrollers come online, it appears that the networking, the, the connectivity of these devices is a kind of feature increment. But in fact, it represents a fundamental shift in the way that security has to be addressed. Rather than hardening your solution as part of a productization step, which is downstream and decoupled from the project, we're trying to bake that into the project itself so that the code is pre-hardened. Zephyr is unique in that respect. When Lenaro decided to create our new IoT group, we had to find a real-time executive that was open source, had a healthy, vibrant community, and the ability to have long-term support from the professional companies as well as the community. We believe this is the future of microcontroller operating systems, and we need to be a part of it. We are continuously expanding the software ecosystem, especially Zephyr targeting IoT. That's a good match with the target markets for us. And instead of competing with each other by jointly developing it, we reduce costs. Being in the inner circle of the Zephyr project, you also see what will be happening ahead of time. You can make sure you're prepared and your products will be first to market. That was an important reason for uh, using Zephyr and promoting using Zephyr within Synopsys. Once you start to peel away the question of looking strictly at taking code at its face value and start looking at the development model and the kind of community that's being built and the, the charter, the licensing, the costs are shared, the risks are shared, and there's an economy of scale. So for me, it was, it was obvious. And of course, with the Linux Foundation behind it, that was key, I think. The Linux Foundation is the home to Zephyr, so we're the organization that provides the technology infrastructure to enable this development to happen. What organizations want to understand is, of the hundreds of real-time operating system efforts out there, which one should I invest in? Zephyr is something that they can count on, that will have this rich ecosystem that they know will be here for a long period of time. One of the things I look at for a healthy open source project that has a future that can really grow and be self-sustainable is the number of companies that participate at a professional level. The Zephyr project will live and thrive and survive depending on participation. So we're continuing trying to, to expand the Zephyr community. We're at a formative stage uh, of the Zephyr project and indeed the ecosystem in which it plays. And Zephyr really is in a place today, albeit early, that it can be a code base of similar import, of similar significance to Linux, empowering systems that are really going to enable uh, IoT to flourish and to provide tremendous value to society.